This one's for, um, you know, this was for my guys, bro. This was for my guys out there hustling and grinding. And this is the deal. Like, you know, life is not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to um, present resistance. If there was no resistance, there would be nothing to do here. You'd be bored. I can tell you sometimes I'm just sitting around my house. I'm just bored. Like, I, I need a mission. I need something to do. I need to create something. You know, when I wake up and I don't have a purpose, I just feel, I don't care. It don't matter how much money's in my bank account. None of that stuff matters. When I wake up and I don't have a purpose, there's nothing to drive me. There's no reason to live. There's no reason to exist. I'm uncomfortable being too comfortable. When I'm too comfortable, I feel like something's coming. I feel like something's on its way to come get me. I, I feel like I need to stay on my toes because that's just the way duality is. This place has problems. but without, without problems, you can't realize solutions. This is the thing. We are here to solve the problems. Let's, put, let's say that again. We're here to solve the problems. That is our purpose. We're created. We're created by who? A creator. Why does a creator create something to do something, to solve a problem? Like I'm sitting in this stool right here. I'm sitting in this stool because this stool solves the problem of me needing somewhere to sit down. I needed somewhere to sit. People created chairs. Now we have places to sit. Without, their, without us needing to sit down, no chairs would have been created. This is you. You are a problem solver. You are the rare reflection, but only after you realize the knowledge of yourself. Now, in order to realize the knowledge of yourself, you have to go through confrontations in life. People have a problem with confronting their life. Most people. This is why most people don't know themselves. When I ask people specific questions like, who are you? People cannot tell me. And it's because, you know why? It's because they do not truly know. In order to know yourself, you have to go through experiences. You have to confront problems. You have to confront things because you don't know what you'll do. You, you may think you know what you'll do, but you don't know. Well, I can tell you, you know, when I was in Iraq, I didn't know, you know, we were doing smoking cigarettes off the ground. Not only was I smoking cigarettes, I was smoking cigarettes that we found on the ground. Taking a dump in a box. Taking a shower with water bottles, man. Listen, you don't know what you'll do till you're put in a situation. I didn't take a shit for two weeks. I was like, man, I ain't sitting in no box. Next thing you know, I was sitting in a box like everybody else. Talk, I'm telling you, you don't know what you what you'll do until you're faced with the challenge. So what you got to do is challenge yourself to know yourself. If you want to know yourself, you got to go and confront life. You got to confront problems. You got to, you can't run away from situations. You have to stand up and face it. But what you're going to find out, oh shit, drop my headphones on the ground. What you're going to find out is that you are a lot tougher than you thought you were. You're going to find out that you have a lot. You're going to find out that you're stronger than you thought you were. You're going to find out that you're more resilient than you thought you were. You're going to find out you're more resourceful than you thought you were. You're going to find out a lot of things about yourself because you were challenged and put into a circumstance for those things to be revealed that you never knew. And you will only find those things out by confronting situations, problems. Okay. Problems are what make you realize solutions. Your solutions are your purpose that's why you exist okay you personally you solve a problem there's specific solutions that you realize and without you and the experiences that you have those solutions won't exist you got a duty you got a purpose you got something that you should be doing every day you should be doing this realizing that self-knowledge and if you're not I don't know what you are doing. I was like, what are you doing? Think about it. If you're not getting to know who you are and what you do, then what are you doing? Because if, if you don't know who you are, you're not doing what you should be doing. You're really just running on a treadmill. You're kind of just wasting time. And you're going to get to the end of somewhere and you're going to look around and you're going to realize that you don't even want to be there. That wasn't, you didn't plan it for, the, for it to be like this. But that's because you can't plan it, okay? Here's the secret sauce. You can't plan it. 
the truth, this one, this is the one true fact that I realized in my life is that God wants what's best for me. And I'm going to go get deep and talk about God because I know a lot of people, you don't even find out believe in God, but that's your problem because you got a problem if you don't believe it because you don't have no direction if you don't have God. There's nobody, if there's no, if, you, if there's no God, how'd you get here? Who created you? you God created you, okay? So... When you, when God has the plan for your life and he wants the best for you. He really wants what you want. The difference is God knows how to get it and you don't. That's the difference. That's why you have to surrender. You have to learn how to surrender because God can guide you to where you want to go, but you have to walk through the door. She's going to give you to present the opportunities. You got to take the steps. You got to leap. You got to recognize the opportunity and jump on it. And if you don't no, you're never going to get there. You're never going to get there. You're not going to get there the way you think you're going to get there. Your route is not correct. You don't know. Again, where are you? Who are you? You don't know. God knows. God knows you. He knows you better than you. So the, the best thing you could do is listen to his instructions. Where's the door he's opening for you? Look for it. Walk through it in complete faith that he knows you and knows what you want and knows how, you, how to get it to you. Because all he's doing is delivering to you what you're asking for and what you want. It just doesn't look like it. You're like, well, I got to do this and do, yeah, you got to do that. He's sure like, I want this. He's like, all right, well, let me present this door to you. You're like, but I don't want it that way. That's too bad. That's how you get it. <laughs> that's how you get it. And that's what he's trying to show you. It's like, you can't have it your way, but you can't have it. Okay. But you can't have it your way. You got to have it my way. So that's why you got to learn how to surrender. And once you learn how to do that, your life's going to get easier because you're going to stop having, you're going to stop encountering so much resistance because you're with the flow. You're with the flow. And now the resistance and the problems aren't problems anymore. They're just something that you, that help you realize solutions. You look at problems, but they don't seem like problems. They're just something that you know you need to have. It's not even negative. It's like, oh, that's something that is going to make me realize a solution. I must need this so that I can confront it and then realize something that I'm not thinking about right now that I wouldn't have come up with if I wouldn't have, if I would have never had to confront this. All right. That's today's lesson. You know, I just, I don't even have a subject matter. Sometimes I just go off and just give it to you live. So, uh, how are we at? Eight minutes, eight minutes of talking. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching A Real Reflection with Alan B. Charity. Peace.